Hello everyone, this is Priyanka Bagde. I work at Intel as IoT Developer Evangelist. Before joining Intel, I um, completed my PhD in Computer Science from Arizona State University. At Intel now, I work with different cloud partners to integrate their technology in Intel IoT platforms. Then I create training materials and teach Intel technology outside. I also develop different demos so that we can teach developer developers on these new technologies. So today I'm going to showcase one of such demo. So let me start sharing my screen and turn off my video. So today we will be looking at intelligent infrastructure for smart cities, uh, enabled using Intel and Redix. So um, when we talk about intelligent infrastructure, what comes into our mind first? Smart parking? Yes. I would definitely like to know where I should park my car instead of roaming around parking for a long time. Pedestrian detection? Yes. So if I know there are lots of pedestrians in this area, I might drive carefully. Traffic management? Definitely. I don't want to wait in lines or in traffic for hours to reach work or back home. Environmental planning that is much needed because we have lots of new renewable sources. But if we don't plan the energy or how much we are consuming very well, then we will we will be consuming we will be using non-renewable sources. So all these things are very important. But how we can enable this using IoT? So uh, here we have intelligent infrastructure demo that shows how IoT technology can help cities become smarter and safer. So in this demo, we have used existing sensors on the road to collect data and process them in real time so that we can use that data in city planning. And in this demo, we are utilizing Intel IoT Gateway and GE Predicts Cloud. So uh, in this demo, we were able to gather data from a traffic camera on the road and a road sensor using Intel NOC to process it in real time so that we can compute the speed of the car on the road as well as how many number of cars are passing through that road. And then we are setting that this data uh, on GE Predicts Cloud to do historical analysis as well as uh, store this data in order to do predictive maintenance. So to emulate traffic camera for this demo, we have used simple Logitech camera and to emulate the inductor sensors on the road uh, using Holifer sensor. So currently these inductor sensors which are on the road, you can see that whenever you pass on the road near traffic signal, there is a circle marked on the road. It is an inductor sensor and it detects the whether the car is passing through on that road or not. And according to if there is a car, on the road, it will turn on the traffic signal or turn off the traffic signal. So this is the basic system diagram for the demo. Now, first of all, uh, let's look at the demo video. So as I couldn't actually show you guys my demo, so I just um, recorded my demo. So here is the video. So Intel, look, I'm moving my car in the demo. These are five different parts in the demo. And when I move my car, as I'm computing speed of the car, I have this mark the vectors, optical flow vectors using blue lines. So this is the actual demo. Now let's look at what are different parts in this demo. So uh, there are two parts in this demo. One is hardware and another part is cloud. So for hardware, we have used Intel NOC, uh, which has i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and I'm using Ubuntu 16.04 OS on it. Uh, so it's open source, so you can install any kind of software on it. For sensors, I'm using the Logitech camera and Hall Effect sensor. So Intel NOC provides advanced compute and allows to establish secure and seamless connection between age and to cloud without changing existing infrastructure. 
So the demo uses interlock to analyze data obtained from existing cam traffic cameras and inductive road sensors to make intelligent decisions. The gateway uses computer vision and machine learning to compute speed of the car from the video feed. And then it sends this data to GE Predicts, which is our cloud part uh, using uh, Predicts machine. So Predicts machine is basically a Java OSGI container which sits on Intel NUC, which sends data from the NUC from the gateway to cloud securely. And then in the cloud, um, there is a cloud app for data visualization and using analytics service to do historical analysis and to send data from, to establish a secure connection between hardware and the cloud. And uh, the UA authentication method is being used by the Predix machine. So uh, in this way, we have seen that how we can send data from gateway to the cloud. And when I'm connecting these sensors, the Hall effect sensor and camera, I haven't connected directly to the NOC. The Hall effect sensor is connected to NOC uh, via Arduino 101. So uh, Intel NOC communicates with Arduino 101 using Permata prototype and the camera is a USB camera. So I just plugged it into Intel NOC. Uh, for uh, sensors, the code for camera as well as getting data from camera and the Hall effect, both the codes are written in Python. And I will show you code snippets in next slides. So for data analysis, that is the we are uh, that we are capturing a video feed using this traffic camera and then analyzing this video feed to compute speed of the car. So now let's look at how the car computation algorithm works. So for that, Intel NOC, as I already explained, is using computer vision to compute speed of the car. So first of all, what we do is we decide a region of interest. So as shown here, so uh, we, all, we mark that this is the region of interest. We want to compute speed of the car, which is passing through this particular field. So once we mark that, ROI, that is region of interest, we wait get the video. We make a contour from that video and then we look at the optical flow to see how the car is moving from frame to frame. First, we convert the frame into gray color scale and then we apply the Farnay Black back optical flow algorithm to get 2D vectors to get change in pixels from frame to frame. Once we get these 2D vectors, we need to compute the magnitude of these vectors in order to get the speed of the car. So what we do is, uh, for computing magnitude, we need a reference point. So in this demo, we have used the reference point as the length of the dotted lines on the street. So for each country, the length of the dotted lines is fixed. For example, for US, the length of the dotted lines is 10 feet. So we use that as a reference point and computed uh, magnitude of these vectors. And once we got magnitudes of all the vectors, we just computed average and that gave us speed of the car. And this algorithm has been written in Python as well. So here, uh, here is a small video. When I move a car, how the vectors look like from which we are computing speed of the car. So as you can see, as I'm moving, the vectors are also moving with my hand in the car. And the reference point, which is the length. So they, we can see that I marked it. So in this, you can see that it's on the street, the dotted lines. So that was about how it's speed of the car from the video. Now let's look at how the Hall effect sensor or the interface is utilized to compute how many cars are passing through that. So here for that one, you can see it's a light which is underneath the surface. This is just 
feel the visual if when I move the car you can see the effect lights up the LED and it shows that the car is there. So I'm just using to implement whenever it senses that there is a car. The holographic sensor is basically a digital sensor and it's the low it switches to low whenever it detects the magnetic field so what i did is in the, those 3d printed cars i have a magnet um, inbuilt so that the holographic sensor can actually detect the magnet and say that okay there is a magnetic field and it switches to low whenever it detects the car so whenever it detects the car i'm just turning on the led and passing on to the LED. Uh, because LED is active high, so you can see in the code that first of all I initialize the Hall effect sensor as well as the LED, and obviously I'm looking for Hall effect reading and passing this as chips. You can pass it through through X machine to gateway, but when and whenever there it's whenever the Hall effect sensor reading says low, I'm turning on LED, which shows me that the car is present. So this is how I implemented Hall effect sensor um, algorithm to collect data and send it to Intel Gateway via MQTT. Then uh, to show what is happening on the edge, that is on the uh, gateway side, what kind of computation is happening? What I did was I I developed a web uh, server uh, server program where I am just displaying the speed of the car in real time format in a in a graph, and as well as I am showing how many cars are passed through the intersection. So whenever the Hall effect sensor detects a car, I am just in uh, increasing a counter. And for the demo purpose, I have set a threshold for the car uh, speed limit. Whenever the car crosses the threshold, I say that the, there is a there is a violation of the rule. So you can see, whenever I move the car, gateway starts uh, calculating uh, the speed in real time. If the car speed goes beyond threshold, it shows that it's danger. Oh, yeah. And then whenever it passes through, it's prevented. Um, then this is the Predix app. Uh, this is the app which I developed on Predix Cloud. This is the data visualization one. I'm sending data to the cloud, uh, which is the car speed data. And it's, it is getting plotted in graphical format. I'm sending data to time series, and this app is taking data out of the time series and displaying it on uh, in the graph for the app. And as I have added UA authentication, only particular users can see uh, this app. So uh, to conclude the talk, here I have represented a transportation use case using um, uh, using Intel IoT Gateway and GE Predix. This is just a prototype. You can easily go to production. It's an innovative way of, of using IoT technology to build something intelligent which can help our city uh, to become uh, safe. Um, as a next step for this uh, demo, I will. Uh, we uh, we filmed a demo. Uh, we filmed IoT developer show on the same demo where you can see this demo in action. So here is the link for that. Intel has also participated participated in Smart Cities project. So as a Smart City initiative, there is a tra uh, transform Smart Cities with Intel Inside link, which I have provided where you can learn more about San Jose, which is uh, Intel's first smart city implementation in US. And it is intended to improve air and water quality, reduce noise, noise pol uh, pollution, and increase transportation e efficiency. In the end, 
So this is the demo which we saw, but you might be interested in what what will be its future? What if we deploy it in actual setting? So in uh, GE Current has deployed traffic lights, smart traffic light in San Diego. That their project is called at CTIQ. You might have Austin Ash's presentation in the morning. Uh, he talked about the CTIQ project. So the the traffic lamps use Intel Gateway to do real time analysis. Uh, by collecting data from the existing sensors on the road. So if you're interested in industrial application, you can visit this project. Thank you. Mm -hmm.